So now I want to go through a few examples. The first one is how you can look at an equation that's given to you, for instance, by a friend, in the textbook, or maybe on the equation sheet during the test, and you can actually know what it means. And uh, this is an equation that is related to uniform motion. And you can see that there's a few things happening in it. One is that you see that Greek letter delta that I just talked about. So this quantity here means t final minus t initial. So we're talking about some region in time. The second thing you see is that my v here has a subscript of y. So this is going to mean the speed or the component of the velocity in the y direction. And typically when we're talking about the y direction, that means up and down. So this equation applies if you have uniform motion and if we're using the y-coordinate, that probably means something is happening in the vertical direction. Now the next thing you note is that we have two values of y here, but they have different subscripts. Again, this problem wouldn't make sense if you actually had the same subscripts or no subscripts at all. But here we have f for final, and here we have i for initial. And y in this case is just going to be the position on the y-axis, again, in a vertical direction. So if I was to read this out in words, this would tell you that the final position of an object is equal to its initial position plus the product of the speed that it's going in the y direction multiplied by the length of time that it took to travel. So that's what this means in words, but all of that information is contained in the special notation that we're using. So if you were to suddenly switch the subscripts and have this be i and this be f, that actually tells you something completely different, since now you're saying that the initial position of an object is related to the final position of the object and the speed. Now, there is a mathematical way of writing that equation, but if you just flip these subscripts, that would be incorrect here. So it's important to be careful about your subscripts since there is meaning in them.